Don't get around up. Uh, powder <laughs> puff has a tendency to go off on people. This is why I put a buffer between us. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 of course, Gerald Carlson, the curator of education from the uh, Brandywine Zoo down there. Uh, you guys, you, you do so much. Before we get into to the little critter here, because education, this is the time of year. Summertime's coming on. Yeah. I mean, you got so many programs we for do. the kids, you know? We do. We have programs for families, um, adults. We have programs for small children, school groups. Um, events for on weekends coming up, spring break camp, and of course we're always looking for volunteers. And I brought along with me one of our summer teen interns from the summer, from um, and we're really looking forward to talking about that a little bit today. Yeah, because because uh, that's what makes the zoo what it is. I mean, you guys Absolutely. really look look for people that like and, and and Robert, right? Yes. Yeah, you en you enjoy just chit chat with the folks there. You know? Um, yeah, it's yeah. a good place to be. Yeah. yeah. What, do you, what, do you, what do you get to do other than do the shoveling part of it? I know you got to do something. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, we do get to interact with the people a lot during, like, uh, the close encounters. And, um, we also have a zoo camp, too, where we interact with the kids and stuff. Yeah. And... Because you're a kid, you, I love it. So we're going to interact with the kids and stuff. I got to tell you, Robert's eighth grade, right? You yes. guys are going to be going on to high school next year yes. and everything. And uh, this is your second year of, of volunteer, volunteering, interning, Absolutely. whatever you want to do. Absolutely, they don't get paid. Yeah. yeah, they don't get paid. If somebody wanted to do that, because there's a lot of kids out there that don't, you know, jobs are scarce right now, but yep. go do something. You know, That's step, exactly yeah. right. Don't sit at home. Add and that to the resume. You Absolutely. Know, that's going to be very good on a college resume. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And this yeah. is true. Many of my the people that I work with right now that are on my staff started as volunteering because experience is experience, whether you're getting paid or you're not getting paid. Um, we do have a volunteer open house coming up on um, Saturday, April 30th from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. And I encourage everyone above the age of 13 to come to the open house, um, see what it's about. And those teens that are really, really interested in working in a zoo or aquarium setting or a nature institution, great experience to yeah, be able to it, do that. Because you talk about teen internship, and, yep. and that, that's one end of it. I, I guess, I, uh, how about seniors? Do you have some oh, things? Oh, yeah, yeah, we sure do. Yeah, we, we sure. don't want to leave, leave them out. No, but this absolutely is, not. This, this but this particular yeah. one is for, for high school and middle school um, Yeah. Of uh, teens, but if, actually. But if you want to get involved with the zoo, do you ever get the? What, what's your favorite animals down there, Robert? Um, favorite animal. He looked over powder puff like I ain't gonna. Yeah. Not, <laughs> not, not say that at all. <laughs> um, my favorite animal would have to be the. Um, the ocelot right now. Yeah. We just got that. So. Yeah. Yeah. So that is kind of that is that the one that looks like a, a gigantic. Uh, what is ocelot? It's, ocelots are the spotted um, cats that are oh, almost okay. as oh, big as okay. a jaguar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and oh, we those have, are nice. Yeah, yeah if you haven't been are... to the zoo recently, Ramon, yeah, our, our yeah. ocelot, is yeah. there. And um, he's he was great. Just, you just got, just yeah, got, we just him, got him. him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I so remember he's, last time we were there, he just, right, we he talked just about got, him. Yeah. Yeah, was coming so. in. I like this uh, snipe. <laughs> Well, let's, let's I've talk. never been able to find one. Well, I've been we're searching taking and up searching. collections for a new exhibit for the snipe. Yes. So. <laughs> That's what you ought to have down there. You ought to have a big pen, you know, just to put snipe on there. And, and how many people? Oh, they'd all be there. Huh? You'd have to be in there somewhere. Couldn't find and one I when I was a kid. snipe educator. Yeah, well, let's, let's talk about because this little guy is. Yeah, he is, wants is, to go he, back. He wants I to go think. in his cage. And yeah. uh, what, let's, let's this talk is, about Yeah, this is, this is a hedgehog, and this is one of our education animals. So if you come for a discovery tour, which is through the school, groups or if you come even on weekends for a special event when the warmer weather gets warmer we actually have live animal presentations many of our volunteers like Robert move on to become docents which are animal handling um, volunteers and they actually will present live animals such as this guy and uh, she's really neat her name is buttercup she lives at the zoo we use her on traveling zoo programs discovery tours family programs things like that and um, you can see she has definitely lost her sense of shyness. Normally in the wild, she would actually roll up into a ball and make herself like a big old pin cushion and use that to protect herself. Yeah. She's an insectivore. She's got this long pointy nose so she can kind of dig around for insectivores. So she's actually good because she'll, right, you know, she, right. if they live in a... And, and, and basically, you know, the, 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 they're not quills like on a no. porcupine. And yeah, you can, you can, you can you touch, come, yeah. You can come this way with them and they don't really right. flare up. They're definitely not yeah. like porcupine quills, which if you touch them the wrong way, definitely can go in and cause actually quite a bit of damage. Right, right. These are more spikes, so they're not quills and uh, spines, spikes, and uh, so they don't, they don't harm us like... 
like they do. I'm looking so. over Robert. He's saying, uh, yeah, I, I ain't got to wait. I can start handling these animals right now. Oh, he's, now. yeah, he's, <laughs> yeah. he's actually will probably I, I start that this year. Yeah, I was going to say, second yeah. year in, I guess you get, it's, it's kind of when you say, okay, get that one out of the cage. <laughs> Don't do it that way again. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you know, but, so. uh, uh, but the, it is such a personal zoo. You guys got a lot going on. I want to remind everybody, too, Earth Day celebration, April 15th and um, We have uh, April 15th is new this year because we're doing this for um, school groups. So it's two dollars per person, and you can't beat that for school. What school group takes a field trip? Because this $2? is before, yeah, because that's from before school's out. Yeah, so, it's so we're coming up next teachers week. to come up. It's two dollars per person. It's from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Then we have our regular Earth Day on Saturday, which is for for everyone, families right. and everything else. Mm -hmm. That's just free with zoo admission, so you do have to pay zoo admission. Um, and of course, it's all going to be involving Earth and Earth friendly activities. With two dollars, so, uh, yeah, with school groups and everything, that's going to be on the 15th and the 16th. So teachers, if you want to set up yeah. some bus bus tours or whatever. Well, the 16th is Saturday, so that's just um, for families. Right, but family. Fridays okay. is the, okay. the one 15th for schools. Fifteenth is for yes. the school. Okay. Uh, spring spring break camp is going to be April 25th through the 20th. 29th, that is that is um, in, yes if you are camp, if, right. we can have our summer interns that will be there and they'll be helping out with that but if you have kids ages four and up that you'd like to send to a week of what is almost like summer zoo camp in the spring send them and visit our website www.brandywinezoo.org and you can find out more information about that I'm, Told figuring, you. I'm figuring out how to get some of this free labor to Jill getting over here now okay, okay, camps and everything we, we got this camp for kids uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but, it's, but, but it's, the whole deal is it's, it's fun it, it is. It, it's it is, fun, it, and they're it, learning. And more importantly is they are our stewards of our earth coming up. So if we can send those messages and make people really want to care for our earth, they are going to make positive and impacting changes. They're going to be that we're all going to benefit from. Yeah, Robert's so. made a lot of girls coming out to the uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yes, yeah. he does. Well, I'm just wondering. I'm thinking to myself, why would a guy, uh, they, you know, I got thinking, wait a minute. What oh. a better place to hang out than at the zoo, watching them all come. Can I give you a personal tour? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> have you seen the snipe cage? <laughs> I have special access to it. Let me show you. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you. Yeah. Actually, but, they, they, that is one nice thing about the teens is they do get to make great friends among each other yeah. where they normally would never even meet. So right, all right, from all right, different right, schools. Right. So. Yeah, because they come from all over town, I guess. Yes. And, the people yeah. all all over, and even from Pennsylvania and Maryland oh, we wow. get them. So oh, they wow. come from yeah. in New Jersey. Wow. So, so if you're looking to do that, that, you can still get involved with that. The website's the best way to find yes, out everything absolutely. about it. Brandywinezoo.org. Absolutely. It's that simple. Jill, it's always a pleasure. Pleasure to see we you, We can't too. wait to we'll be down with the cameras here absolutely. pretty soon to uh, see the, all the new critters and everything. Kevin, you want to say anything in party? Nope. Okay, then I guess <laughs> we're all right to part. Robert, you want to say hi or bye to anybody? Um... See, 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 see you, Mom. Come see the snipe. <laughs> Hi, Mom. Uh, that's a, any, any football player, anybody. See you, Mom. There you go. <laughs> Stay with me right back right after this. Thank you so much.